Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of far, a faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Isaac. And I'm Rosina. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Hunter with more. I'm here in a faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you have been charged with the destructions of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I was framed by the pigs who think they can boss me around. Science has proved that even a healthy wolf can't blow down badly built houses. Plus, I have asthma. Who builds houses made of straw and sticks anyway? You've been caught impersonating both a grandma and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? Okay, I admit, I did impersonate them, but it was a deer. I haven't had a decent sweet in years. Let's be honest, a deer is a deer. What do you have to say of the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I was framed by the pigs. Oh, I'm really not a monster. It's those gruelling pigs who deserve to be in this jail. They're the true criminals. Just wait for the trial. We will show the world the truth. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for the news of the escape kidnap heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about the ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Ava was at the book release in the deep dark forest, the scene of the terrible tale. Hello, I'm Ava and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Well, we have decided to spend some on our gravestone for our mother and we are going to buy a new house because ours is a really, really practical. Well, we have designed to spend some on graves on a gravestone for our mother and we will go to buy our house because we practically we need to live next to our school. Hansel, you're back in great shape great shape now. After being fattened up for eating, how did you do it? We used some of the money to buy personal training and we've been working out at the gym and running ever since. Yeah, we've been running for a while now. What have you learned through this experience? What happened to us was pretty traumatising. We will never, we will probably never trust a stranger again. Never. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that is not all well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter Cooper. Thanks, Rosanna and Isaac, and hello, everyone. I'm in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And hello, smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How is it all going with you two? 
Oh my goodness, where do I start? He leaves his hair everywhere, he snores at night, and he leaves his nail clippers everywhere. But I still love him. It's a lot to get used to. She stinks of perfume. Apparently it's supposed to make you smell better. I think not. So you're something of a beauty beauty and a total beast beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? Having to clean up after him, I've never lived with someone such a mess. That's a lie, we haven't made that deal with the cleaning. Well your duo album did not go well, and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? It's time for a divorce. Thanks for your time, beauty and beast. I, I wish you all the best for the, for the future. Back, back to the studio. Thanks. Thanks, Cooper. Now it's time. Now it's time for a. What? What's going on? You're pointing the camera. Thanks, Cooper. Now it's time for the. Now it's time for the faraway land weather update with Riley and Emily. Who will have the fierce weather of them all this week? Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. Um, in the north there will be gum drops, lollipops and rainbows for everyone. The sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it will be fee fire for freezing. Finally, trolls living under the bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending for the working week for most of us. Back, Back to, to the, the news desk. desk. That's all for, t oh, thanks Emily and Riley. That's all for tonight, although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe and the whole team at once upon a crime. Good night.